hello everyone so today we are going to do the planning and the planning is dependent upon the cost centers and we are going to plan the cost centers planning and there are three types of planning one is input another one is output and the third one is statistical key figure planning and in the input planning we are going to specify the cost element input plan and there are two types of input planning one is activity dependent another one is activity independent so activity dependent is the cost which depends upon the activity like salary expense salary expense depend upon the labor activity hours so how much labor is working so it will affect the salary expense cost another one is activity independent like either we are going to I either we are going to produce any product or not we have to pay the rent like our premises factory premises is on rent we have to pay the rent either we are going to produce anything or not so it is the example of activity independent planning second one is output planning is in in the output planning we are going to specify the activity plan like how many labor hour we are going to consume for this product like this we are going to plan the activity hours and in the statistical key figure planning we have we are going to plan the statistical key figures like how many number of employees we are going to retain in the next year and how many units we are going to plan to consume for our production so like this we have to plan the statistical key figures so today we are going to do the activity independent planning so there are two methods like either we are going to use the standard provided template or either we can also use the excel excel template and customize that excel template as per our requirement so today we are going to use the standard template and let's go in the system and plan one activity independent cost so I am going to transaction code KP06. My controlling area is 1214. And I am going to specify my planner profile. And multiple planner profiles are available in the system. So I am going to use the 103. SAP 103 planner profile so here you can see one is cost center another one is cost element when we are going to use the activity dependent planning we have to specify the cost activity types in the input screen as well so let's check 101 so here you can see we have to specify the activity types as well because it is activity dependent planning so I'm going to use the 103 and going to use the activity independent planning. My version is 010. Period is 1 from 1 to 12. I'm going to plan. And my fiscal year is 2022. Cost center 1001. And I'm going to use all the cost elements so so here we are going to specify the cost element we can also specify the cost center group or a cost element group as well so two types of entries are available one is free entry let's check in the free entry we have to manually input the cost elements like here it is specified go back so here it is specified because I have already input the cost. So go back. So I'm going to use the form base. So system will display all the cost elements. So you can see here all the cost elements are available. So I'm going to use the rent expense cost. So 12,000 is my rent expense cost for the 2022 year. 
and we are going to consume this in the production cost center so in the next tab you can see the distribution key so multiple distribution keys are available so if we are going to use the manual distribution like in months we are going to distribute manually so in first month i am going to use thousand another one i am going to use two thousand so i am going to use the manual distribution and in equal distribution system will equally distribute this twelve thousand into 12 months so let's go and use one so it is equally distributed you can also overview from here so you can see it is distributed 12,000 into all the 12 months equally so save this so like this I have planned the activity independent cost and it is the rent expense so go back so let's go the let's go and check the report where it is available so go to cost center accounting information system report for cost center accounting plan actual comparison so here we can see so my cost center is 1001 so let's check So you can see rent expense is planned and it is 12,000. We can also find the planning overview. So multiple report options are available here. We can display as per our requirement. So you can see I have posted one document and it is activity independent cost of 12,000. So go back. We can also display for one month also so go back and i'm going to display for month of eight so i'm going to display for the month of eight so you can see it is one thousand let's go and post one document for rent expense and get the actual cost so I'm going to use FP50 FP50 20 it is the rent expense cost element and debiting the rent expense 500 so it is the cost element and we have to input the cost object also and i am going to consume the rent expense and paying for our production facility so save this so you can see our document is now posted So you can see 500 amount is posted. So let's go in the cost center report and compare the actual versus plan cost. So go to this report and I'm going to display for the month period of 8. 8. my cost center is production so in this report you can see 500 is the actual cost and 1000 is our plan cost and there is variance as well so you can see 500 is the variance remaining and plan cost is 1000 and actual cost is 500 so like this we can post the plan cost and it is activity independent so multiple planning types are available in the system so we can plan different types so in the next session we are going to create one excel template for activity independent planning 
so the basic functionality of the activity independent planning remain the same and it is not dependent on any activity and rent expense is not dependent on any activity so our example of rent expense is used for activity independent planning so in the next session we have already we will also discuss about the activity dependent planning like salary expense salary expense depends upon the labor hours so it will increase when we are going to increase the labor hour so that's all for this video so thank you for watching